20 minutes, not a minute over. All right. Because these fucking scumbags don't <laughs> deserve more show. <laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? It's Mike and Matt. We're sorry that, uh, you know, we tried to do an episode today. Our guest canceled, and we didn't want to half-ass it. So we're doing, we're giving you a little bonus content today, yeah. and then yeah. we're doing a regular episode tomorrow. That's right. And we right. haven't figured out exactly what it is, but hopefully <laughs> it, it'll it be something good. Yeah, but it'll be real good. And it'll be... All right, why are you blowing up my spot? What? What? Come on, they love it. I'll blow it up. Blow it up and tear it down. Can we start over? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, because this is part of your performance review. Oh, but geez. Um, hey, <laughs> let's get it going. Tell tell the folks what's going on. Hmm? Well, nothing's going on. Oh. There's just a little trouble in paradise. Mm. Copy. Well. Now we're fine. I'm excited. Every relationship has ups and downs. <laughs> and, uh. Basically, what happened was Matt told me that he doesn't think I have any talent, and he he feels like this our relationship's not going anywhere, <laughs> and he wants to quit the show. He wants to quit the show and go produce guys we fucked. <laughs> He's gonna go produce Bodega Boys. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Love it. I could. Yeah, yeah. I could be their boy. Why don't? But you're not trying to produce any other podcasts. No, I mean, I would, uh, I'd probably do, uh, come town if, uh, if they wanted, but I feel like, uh, that's kind of See, part that's, of their allure a, now. So if we are doing a performance review, this is one of your problems where it's like, you are like a little bit delusional mm -hmm. about stuff. You're not, you're not realistic about, um, where your life is or, 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 um, or what's going to happen to you. Okay. Go on. What is that? Uh, my, is second, that... my second wife's telling me I got fat. <laughs> Maria's over here. Oh, the worst. Why is that? Uh, why is that far fetched? What? Why is that far fetched? Well, because Comtown is like it's, it's a show that's working. Why would they? Why would they bring another right. person? On? Right. Exactly. No. Th yeah, I'm not saying be on mic, but I, I don't mean... know who told you to believe in yourself this much, <laughs> but that's a mistake. <laughs> No, I mean uh, every now and again, uh, people will uh, mention the uh, the quality of the sound and stuff, and right, you know, right, right, right. that's probably my forte. And uh, right. it, it, even if I was just an intern that just worked mm -hmm. on their show, you know, yeah, and, and I was just like, oh, I'm just happy to be here. Don't have to pay me nothing. And they're like making like yeah. whatever a month, but like just being around that would drive more people to our podcast, just because they would. You know, I would be in the room and they would look at me and then they would make fun of me or whatever it was. Just being close to that would be. Uh, oh, that's a lot of lasagna. Would be good. But um, yeah. I only chose them because uh, I know they have sound quality problems. Rad Dude Cast, I would also help them out with uh, their sound. Right. You know, I wouldn't want to be on mic on any other shows, though. I don't think that's weird. Unless I started it. You only want to ruin my show. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> With your half-ass yeah, dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm your brother husband, dude. Your third, <laughs> yeah. your third partner. Well, anyway. Um, yeah. Well, we're trying to make some changes to the uh, Patreon episodes. Yeah. We usually don't have guests. And we're thinking that maybe we should have guests on regularly. I don't know. Just something... Some of the feedback that we've gotten for the show is it like, I don't know. Yeah, the good maybe episode the needs a little more. Maybe I shouldn't eat lasagna on mic, also. <laughs> yeah, I mean That's incremental improvements. You know, yeah. it, it's okay. I mean, I, I I agree with that though. Like a lot of our great episodes uh, on the Patreon. Step one: Stop eating lasagna. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love the show, but Mike won't stop eating Italian food. Uh, yeah. That was funny. We recorded two episodes at the same time, and Deb came in at the beginning of the first one and just laid out the most delicious fucking zacuterie board of fucking shit for us to smack on mic. When? Uh, last time we recorded, it was, uh, it was oh, the, yeah. in the room with our, in our my home office anonymous guest that nobody found out about. Oh, right, right, right. right, right. Yeah, good yeah. old... Uh... Leah Kanan. 
<laughs> yeah. That's, That's right. so funny though. I mean, she was like, I want to, I want to be anonymous. And she's like, check out my Instagram. And it's like just her face. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. What a dumb bitch. Am I right? Hey, hey, yo. Uh, yeah. Yeah. E- even when it happened, I was like, Oh, Mike slipped up and said your name at this time or whatever. And she's like, you can leave it up. I just don't want my parents to find out. <laughs> and then people right. started rolling in with the messages and I was like, Oh, this is probably bad. <laughs> Right. But, uh, well, hey, no one knows. You can't hide being a stripper from your dad forever. (laughs) Right. Sooner or later, he's going to go to the club that you work at. (laughs) Right. Yeah. And he's going to get a lap dance where he's He's going to mistake it for the homosexual club. (laughs) Be like, oh, uh, (laughs) imagine you're like, you're living like a secret gay life and you go, you accidentally go to a, a straight strip club and your daughter's working there. Right. (laughs) <laughs> You're like, ah, oh, shit, I was just trying to have secret gay sex. Pumps? I <laughs> thought that was penis pumps. <laughs> Let's find out this. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, Luis Gomez is selling penis pumps. Yeah, I uh, I heard that. I, I read so that. Funny. That's insane. So funny. Insane. Yeah. So. Well, listen. Well, we, can't even, do. we can't even get kids. a fucking pasta He's got maker. kids to feed. Yeah. He's got a kid to feed. <laughs> Right. Just imagine his kid when he's like 18 being like, Dad, you know, you think you know everything because you, you and your fucking penis pump money? <laughs> like, <laughs> your penis, that penis pump. pump <laughs> that penis pump put you through to school. <laughs> Sent you to private school. <laughs> yeah. Fucking Lewis, Lewis would be a good guest, right? Do you, you think some. He's Puerto Rican, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Puerto Ricans are mad into crime, dude. You be yeah, ridiculous. well, the show the show needs the show needs some changes. We need to see Matt. Now that's the other problem that we're having is like mm-hmm. now that I, my personality is rubbed off on you, you say like racist stuff, but it's not it's not it's clever not me. enough no, to work right. as a joke. It's not who you are. Right. Yeah. So now now I just have some racist guy from Minnesota <laughs> on my show. <laughs> some racist guy. Because racial humor only works if it's clever enough to out, you know, shine the right. And you've been, you've, me I mean, you've it. put in your ten thousand hours. You grew up around it, so yeah, I understand. I'm an expert. I'm an expert racist now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't like that hack bullshit, right? I love that Instagram story you like shared, which was like that little white dude with the tiny dick. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> Oh yeah! Follow me on Instagram, everybody. Hell yeah! I the story of a yeah, it's like a stick figure. <laughs> this is why we take all y'all's females. LOL. <laughs> oh shit! It's good. Yeah. It's good stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. But Do you ever feel good about yourself? You ever? Mm, not lately. I, I sometimes. Yeah. No. It comes and goes. Yeah, How about yeah. you? Uh, no, I don't think you should. Anyway, next question. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, uh, where was I? Oh, well, so what do you think are the changes that need to be made to the show? Well, I mean, I think you already, uh, you nailed the first one with the Patreon, with the, uh, the guest, you know, we gotta yeah. pay a guest. People say that you have no comedic instincts. I, do, what should I can I say something back to those people or yeah hey man I'm just Please. trying you know I'm out here and like right. po- the thing about podcasting is you take a lot of shots and uh right if you're not a fucking riff god um right you know if you're not a professional comedian it's not it's not easy um but mm-hmm. um I'm just out here trying my best to roll with it and uh mm-hmm. You know, um, sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll get it. And sometimes I won't, I think like, I feel like a lot of gay, like the gay dad and, you know, uh, you know, joking about gayness and, uh, you know, having sex with each other like that works, uh-huh. but like racism with me specifically doesn't work as much, but, um, yeah. yeah. Why do you think that is? I don't know. I think it's probably where I'm from. My, I'm like, a. Just a generic looking white dude, you know, a little more attractive mm-hmm. than your average guy. Mm-hmm. Um, but um, who told you that? You did. You've told me that multiple times. 
Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. that's just because I want you to leave Shelby. Oh. I want you to have the confidence to walk out. She's attractive, too, though, so I feel like we're going to have some good babies. Yeah, or you'll have, like, <laughs> or you'll have, like, it'll it'll do, like, a recessive gene. Oh, I hope it'll, not. You'll just, she'll give birth to a frog. <laughs> a red-headed frog. You're like, did you fuck a frog, man? She's like, no, please believe me. <laughs> yeah. Some Her scientist. doctor's like, this is a ra- this is a rare condition where uh, <laughs> sometimes a woman will give birth to a half frog man, and then she just slips him a hundred bucks <laughs> to make you feel better. Oh no, yeah, 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 yeah. That was like the guy that told somebody that you could catch AIDS from a toilet got slipped a hundred. Yeah, <laughs> from some guy that fucked another dude. <laughs> you're on you're on Maury, and he's like, in the case of uh, who's the father of the frog man. <laughs> Matt, it turns out you are not the father. <laughs> Everyone's like, Boo, oh. Shelby, you fucking whore. You fuck a frog, a frog fucker. Yeah. You piece of shit. She just, she just runs away crying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we both run backstage. The she camera follows crying. us. Yeah. Yeah. No, well, you you would chase after her? Yeah, I mean, if it's daytime TV, you got it. It's like a baby. No, baby. I, well, I don't know. Or not she chases after train, me, you, you know? Cuck. Yeah. Not if you got betrayed. Yeah. True. Yeah, true. But maybe she would chase after me. You you in on Maury and cornrows. <laughs> you wearing like cornrows and like an oversized sweater <laughs> and Tim's. Yeah. <laughs> in the case of nine year old what's a name for a frog man? I don't even know. Um <laughs> Froggy. Just go Froggy. Yeah. See that was an example of me doing bad, I would say. In the case of in the case of <laughs> nine year old Brian, the frogman, it turns out, Matt, you are not the father. You're just sitting there like like just putting starts your hands over bawling. your mouth. You're just putting your hands over your mouth like yeah. Uh. Shaking your head. I don't know, Maury, but it's good to have closure finally. I turned Puerto Rican. <laughs> But you know what, Maury? I'm just gonna live my life and raise my frog son. <laughs> there's, all, there's only two things in life, <laughs> Maury. It's God and money. Yeah, get money. <laughs> <clears throat> I just imagine Shelby like walking off the stage, wiping her eyes, <laughs> wiping tears out of her eyes because this fucking half frog <laughs> is not yours. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and they could have a bunch of shots of just like a frog with its little belly, uh, <laughs> you yeah. know, it's breathing. <laughs> Yo, Maury's the fucking man. I love Maury. I I liked how... What was uh, the best Maury episode? It was definitely Cash Me Outside Girl, right? That was Dr. Phil. That was Dr. See, Phil? This is the other problem, too. Oh, like You don't boy. care enough about stuff <laughs> to get things myth. right. All right, I'm Googling best boring guest. I'm sorry. I, oh, you're it, Googling it. I feel like it's pretty easy to, to mix these guys up. Because here's a little bit of feedback. Somebody said on Reddit, they were like, I was a Patreon subscriber, but then I realized that I never laughed. So I unsubscribed. Oh, God damn. Well, that's like one of those like mean-spirited things to say. And I'm not saying there. that that's... I'm not putting that on, on any anybody but me. <laughs> Like never laugh. That's left? one of those mean spirited what? Uh, you know how like uh people have gone to our YouTube page and they've listened to like a good episode, in my opinion. Uh huh. Um, and they like uh-huh. write like something like uh, uh, I've seen your stand up micro scene, and this ain't it, cause this ain't funny. And you're just like, uh-huh. what? It's a podcast. We're we're literally sp- talk. It's not stand up. You know. Yeah, yeah. These people are sometimes insane. I mean, maybe that guy it didn't do it for that guy, but I well, guarantee we made I, I don't tons care of people if he's insane. Laugh. He's got an extra five dollars a month to spend, <laughs> True. On disposable income True. to give to a fucking podcast instead of some charity. You know, <laughs> it should be deductible. If we're gonna be honest, what? Uh, like pa- Patreon subscriptions should be like tax dedu- deductible at the end of the year, like they are giving to charity because okay, it is. Yeah, Ooh. yeah. Um, let's see your best Maury episode. This might be another problem with the show is we're constantly having to explain each other to the other person. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. 
Well, some, I, Dude, it, I just I just want to hang out in my living room with my two wives. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like uh, when uh, you explain something to me, though, I feel like there's one stupid Patreon subscriber, or maybe like two, who also didn't mm-hmm. get it, and maybe like that helps those two people, and they don't have to feel retarded. That sounds like a rationalization. Yeah. So you think we should be going after the demographic of everybody who's anybody with money is you what is what you just said. I know, but uh, all right. I don't know. Hey, I've got some exit interviews from Patreon. I pulled it up. Uh huh. Go ahead. People Let's are allowed see. to write whatever they want whenever they unsubscribe. And they do, and they sure do. Have you read any of these yet or no? Yeah, a few, yeah. Okay. The first one we got, twenty twenty eighteen, uh, March twenty sixth, uh liberals are gay. <laughs> Okay, nothing so, we can do about that. Right, true. Um, uh, Good riddance is what I say. Somebody wrote, uh, okay, April 28th. Uh, Matt Wait, had... go, maybe, can you go to the most recent? Oh, okay. This one was about me. Do you want to hear this one? Yeah. Matt had never heard of Atlantic City before. Jesus Christ. All right. Is that true? That's. I mean, of course I've heard of Atlantic City, but... Um, the song or the or the band? Or the song, the song or the town. The I've heard of the city. I've there's a song. Wh- who sings it? Probably heard it. I don't know. Springsteen. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah right. I've definitely yeah. Not familiar. All right, that's with excusable. Stuff. What's the next one? Okay, I'm gonna go to the most recent stuff. Um, to November November 21st. Oh, okay. He's it's his financial situation changed. Sorry, fellas, it's rough out here. The last mm-hmm. one that wrote that my financial situation changed. Okay, so he's okay, so he's broke. Right. The, uh, this is another yeah. broke guy. Love you boys, but I am poor now. Fine. Okay. Here's oh, uh, here we go. Uh, that's okay. Great. That's not constructive. Uh, October eighteenth, uh, twenty eighteen. Uh, the reason is Matt. Lowercase M. That's it. Uh, okay. How does that make you feel? Uh, not good. But um. What did Shelby say when you read that? Oh, What's she like. She. Uh, no. <laughs> you have a. You're perfect. <laughs> Don't you listen to whatever that little five dollar boy ever said? Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh. The the next person said they wanted more like the regular ones, but these seem like a little more behind the scenes. Another person yeah. said the pot is good, but the bonus episodes are not great. And seems like the energy and prep is changing maybe for the worse. I don't know. Keep it up though. Right. Yeah. Let me see if I can find some negative ones about me. I thought there would be more. Oh, here we go. Eating on Mike was the last straw. You dumb Guinea. Okay. That's <laughs> me. All right. They're not all about you. It's all right. I mean, I've, I've ate on Mike too. Um, uh, okay, I appreciate how many premium shows you guys put out, but the dynamic. Wait, the between... last. Go yeah, ahead. go ahead. This is good. Uh, I appreciate how many premiums you put out, but the dynamic between the hosts is too tense and weird without a guest. <laughs> September seventeenth. Right. We should That's look recent. up. We should look up whatever corresponding episode was that. Let me look that up. That We've done forty-two fine. of these boys, dude. Oh yeah, that's fucking insane. We we practically are married. I've also got the best Lor- uh, Mori episode loaded up. I mean, I can read you some feedback that I got, but I don't want it to uh, hurt your feelings. Oh boy! Well, these are people direct messaging you, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's, I don't get to see that. All right, fine. <sighs> you can, you can read it though. I'm sure now that you've teased no, it. No, it's I'm just, sh- it's just, look, it, it's just we're, the, the, the step that we have to do is just to have guests on the premium episode and pay them. And, yeah. and we got to bite the board. Just, just pay these people. And it should come <laughs> out of, it should come out of your pay to be honest, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I appreciate that, dude. Um, the problem the, is, the I mean, maybe I, need scheduling. A co- maybe I need a co-host, but I don't have any friends. No, oh, Scott Chaplin's your best friend, right? Or am I closing in what? on him? I don't think I'm you your wish. best friend. You but wish. you see me Frankie's more than anybody friend. else, I think. Yeah, it's true. 
Yeah. Um, yeah, maybe you'll be invited to my wedding. Maybe. Come on. <laughs> let me let me let me Keep be the, the ring bear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that'd be funny. You can wear a diaper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what's funny is oh, like folks, on the last. That's the twenty minute mark. Uh, we'll see you later and goodbye. All right, hold on. <laughs> I actually kind of have to. All right, fine. We're almost done. I actually also kind of have to apologize to our premium subscribers because I listened to the last premium episode. And I did talk too much about Colin Jose's holiday party, and I felt like that was kind of kind of gay to do that. You were embarrassed. Yeah, kind of. Just to talk about famous people, it's kind of stupid. <laughs> I don't know why anybody would want to. You know, after you said that, though, like what you, I, I don't know, like because every time you listen to yourself and you're like, does anyone fucking care? And it's just like they want to know about your pasta sauce. It's the most basic thing in the world. So like, I feel like yeah. people don't really. I mind. know how empty are these people's lives <laughs> that they care about this stuff. I, I feel like people don't I mean, really you guys mind. Are they, a bunch of fucking losers. <laughs> They just want to know more about you. And like somebody saw that episode and they uh, they said they suggested uh, Macaulay Culkin as a uh, guest. Yes. They said he's like a weirdo yeah. like that would be into yeah. that. And like maybe we need to be going for big gets too. Is that we should try to. Yeah, I think so. We should we should make yeah. like a, a board of like our, our monsters we want to get, you know, mm-hmm. people like that. Who? uh I guess like Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> <laughs> we, All right, we both just do Jerry impressions. <laughs> that could be a movie someday. Like we we kidnap Jerry Seinfeld and make him be on our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> like that movie. What's that movie? Uh, Celtic Pride. Yeah, yeah, Where yeah, they yeah. Kidnap, uh, they kidnap the Utah Jazz player. Yeah, yeah. This is they... like we kidnap. Uh, uh, we kidnap Ron Funches and just keep him chained to a radiator for four months <laughs> till he agrees to do our podcast. <laughs> we cut off one of his fingers so we show me means business. We show me mean business. Chris Hardwick, we just <laughs> we just cut one of his balls off. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> that's good. Just put his head in a vice. <laughs> torture celebrities until they do our podcast. Do my podcast. <laughs> like, no, never. Yeah. The resolve. Who is someone who does a lot of, po- who's a big person who does a lot of, John Hamm maybe? Yeah. Yeah, he would be huge. Yeah. But, um, bigger gets. Let's get some bigger gets where people see the name and they're like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're doing the sit down. Scar- Scarlett Johansson's like, can I do your podcast? I'm like, you know, I really just don't think women are funny. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> just like any strong woman asks you to do the show, and you're like, mm, yeah. not for you, dude. Mm, how about you shut up? Beat it, Michelle Obama. <laughs> <laughs> that is the great thing. It's like any just po- podcast are for like up and comers or like just disgraced fallen from grace pieces of <laughs> fucking garbage we're, yeah we're the cruise ship of comedy <laughs> yeah we kind of are no but cruise ship you make money on a cruise ship <laughs> not that we don't make money we're very thankful for all our subscribers well hopefully we pick up some more because we talk so much about patreon um yeah but um you know i started at- watching that adam sandler special no this was a rebuilding episode we're trying to figure out how to make the show better mm-hmm if you have any suggestions, email us, sitdownpod at gmail.com. Yeah. You guys, I'll give out my personal email. It's michael.racine at gmail.com. I'll, I will see that one first if you want to contact me that way. Um, yeah, let us and, know what you uh, like and what you don't. Like, be Matt Anderson be 38 at gmail.com. Matthew.anderson29. You know, at, we get a ton of mixed feedback. We're trying to figure out what to do with the show, so just let us know. What you like, what you don't like, because a lot of people say they like our dynamic and they like Matt. And those people, I mean, they're all retarded, but <laughs> we do get a every nice... time. Every time you read that, and I know, I know that every time you read it, because it's like every time I read it, I'm like, are they sure? <laughs> like, I'm like, do they do read what they they do like that dynamic? Yeah, yeah. I'm always just so skeptical. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. Uh, it's matthew.anderson39 at gmail.com. That's my personal email. 
Yeah. Anyway, thanks for the opportunity to grow and evolve with us. Yeah. Um, can I, can I, uh, can I tell you, like, did you see that Carlton from Fresh Prince is suing Fortnite? Yes. I want to murder him. Like, who the fuck do you think you are suing somebody over a dance? And then, like, Backpack Kid got on in it. He uh, He's going to be suing uh, Epic now for the flossing dance or whatever. Or he's going to try. Yeah. It just blows my mind, the fucking audacity of these people in 2018. Yeah. Yeah. It's like too. nobody's ever danced like that before, you fucking loser. Or it's like the LPGA was tweeting at Carlton, like doing the Carlton dance. And I'm like, you know, all the replies are and they're like, oh, you're opening yourself up to a, a litigation now. Like, uh oh, hopefully you don't have a lawsuit on your hands. It's like, are you serious? It's going to be you're going to like <laughs> make it like illegal to do a dance. I don't know. It really pissed me off. Not in my country. Yeah. Totally. No black man's going to tell me not to dance. <laughs> yeah. No little kid with some fucking backpack on. Tell me yeah. where to dance. Little bitch. Yeah. It's funny just to think of those two like standing like on the prosecution side together. <laughs> just like the weirdest slew of like dancers. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Um. All right. That well, was, here's to a weird dynamic. <laughs> that was my contribution. Uh, yeah. Anyway, um, cool. So we'll have a regular show tomorrow night, right? Um, yes. And I'm working on a guest. Hey, if you guys have requests for a guest, uh, let me know. Also, uh, I got to put my foot down. You're not allowed to write episode descriptions anymore. They're not in the voice of the show. Perfect. I, I've been begging you to do it. I know. But now I see how truly terrible. I think you're probably you're probably doing them poorly on purpose. Mm, it's it's really hard to nail a perfect Racine, and I'll tell you that much. Yeah. Yeah, go back go back through our episode descriptions and see which ones are mine and his and you'll be able to tell. Spot them. All right. Um but uh we got a regular show coming out. Uh what's our plan for the holidays, Mike? I guess you're gonna leave me the gear. Yeah, I'm leaving you the gear. You're gonna play with some friends. You you can call me, I guess. How if long you want. are you gone? Two weeks? I'm gone till uh I'm coming back on the third. So how do I upload episodes? Yeah, I'm gonna have to you're gonna I'm gonna have to walk you through it, I guess. Or or you can yeah. just send me No, there the files are small enough where you could just share it to me and I can I'll bring my laptop and I can edit it. All right, perfect. Yeah, <clears throat> but yeah, you'll just host. Yeah, cool. We got we got this, guys. We'll we'll have more shit for you. Don't worry. <laughs> what kind of power tools are you getting for Christmas? Um, I don't know. I think I'm just getting socks. Unfortunately, how about you? Did you get yourself anything? Do you get yourself something for Christmas? Uh, do you buy yourself something? something? Yeah, yeah. No. Do you do that? Seems a little insane. I don't know. I was actually like, um, when we were texting earlier, like I was actually like looking at a Christmas gift for you and I was like deciding it was a little too expensive. Right. Do you want to see the link to what it was? Sure. All right. All right. Send it to me. And, uh, I think, I think we got to go, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's it. All right. Um, thanks. Thanks everybody. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. And you're the best Mike. Ew. Yeah. You're the best. Awesome. All right. We'll see you all in hell. <laughs> Later. Bye.